Tross and at the show in November of new paintings and they're exploring the same direction I've been working on for about four years, uh, abstraction, and they often come back to the landscape. That seems to be where I'm grounded. You can always find some kind of landscape element in them, whether I am trying to put it there or not, it just seems to appear. So it says a great deal to me about my, what my uh, longtime values are and the things that I really care about. I'm very much focused on color, uh, the collision of color, the sense of upheaval that colors can make together, and that seems to connect to the landscape too in the way that there is upheaval over time, geologic time, of the physical elements of the land. And that seems to be one of my main concerns too. I say seems because I'm not always aware that I'm doing this as I'm doing it, but it, it shows itself to me as I'm painting and as I come up with new works. Okay, and I was talking about the collision of colors, which uh, I see in these pieces, the, the intense primary colors and other things I add in later that look like earth tones to me, but uh, they really speak to me for some reason. And um, I'm getting bolder and bolder with color. So that seems to be what comes forth out of the out of the painting, color and form, the way the forms interact. Also talking about the way that landscape keeps reappearing, certain landscape colors reappear. I, I'm very much drawn to sienna and orange and blues. Those keep coming back together. So when I seem to get too far out in the abstract, then I'll come back to more basic colors, more earth, earth tones and earth forms. So I've got kind of this two-fold thing going on in, in these sets of pieces, both the landscapes and the abstractions.